Now, the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 13. We're seeing the rainy conditions persist here across the region this evening, but as we head toward your Sunday, that's going to change in a big way. You can see the wet roadways here in downtown Ashland at this hour. And as we look a little farther to the east here across the region, yeah, this is down toward Logan, so down toward the south and east. And yeah, that just looks nasty out there. It's been quite a good day maybe to just go out, chill, maybe uh, read a book in the living room, watch some Netflix. If you will, just a good place, a good day to stay inside. And as we head toward tomorrow, really going to be the same, unfortunately. Not going to be much of a good weekend. Check this out, though. Severe weather across portions of Alabama today. This was tornado damage. This is courtesy of Tina Oates in the Alabama area. We call it Wetumpka. And you can see very severe damage here across portions of Alabama. They saw quite a bit of severe weather across the central part of the state earlier today. Several tornado reports out across that area. Thankfully, not seeing anything like that in our region, but you can kind of get a grasp of how complex the system is that is making its way across the region. HD dual live operator right now showing some pretty light activity, but notice back to the west. We see a lot of ice and mix here showing up on the radar and some snow farther to the west. We'll kind of zoom in here. A nice break from the rain here across the I-77 quarter here at this hour across southern Ohio, seeing some steady light rain switching over to some mix here as we head toward the next hour or so. We get down towards southwestern West Virginia, really seeing a good bit of drying period. We saw a lot of steadier rains in this area where a good inch and a half or so of rain fell earlier today. And we get toward the West Virginia mountains and we're seeing a bit of a mix here over the highest peaks and still some light rain persisting over in these areas. Aerial flood watch that goes through 4 a.m. Sunday and you can see still covering a wide area here of our region. Winter weather advisories, though, covering everybody, and this goes through noon tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few of these get extended, though. So we'll see snow squalls across the region for a good chunk of the day. So that's something to keep an eye on. Man, you would have no idea that we're going to be seeing winter weather here shortly. 51 right now in Charleston, 53 in Huntington. You go literally 20 minutes up the river, or down the river, I should say, down in uh, Portsmouth. It's 15 degrees colder at 37. 31 in Chillicothe. Yeah, it's 27 in Hillsborough. So a big temperature cutoff here as we head back to the west here. And you look here, 20 in Indianapolis, 28 in Columbus. And yes, it's 5 degrees right now in Des Moines. That cold air is going to hold off until we get towards Sunday evening into your Monday. But yes, some very cold air is going to make its way into the area. We saw a warm front pass through today. And as we head toward tomorrow, that area of low pressure shifts its way to the east. We get what we call wrap around moisture behind that area of low pressure with the clockwise flow, and that means snow showers. And some of these are going to be heavy at times here as we get toward your Sunday morning, mainly before noontime, I think. So we'll see the slick conditions persisting, though, with temperatures below freezing on the roadways. You can see really many areas dealing with the wet roadway conditions starting to ice up here across portions of Ohio. That's a sign of things to come here as we head toward tomorrow morning here across the region. Let's time things out on predictor and we've got the road temperatures overlaid here so you can see exactly when the temperatures drop down below freezing on the roads. You can say look at this by early Sunday morning you're waking up and temperatures dropping below freezing in many areas on the roadway. So this is when we expect the roadways to start to slicken up with some, mainly some black ice issues and the black ice is going to be a, a real issue here as we get toward Sunday afternoon into your Monday really all the way throughout here as air temperatures are going to stay down really around 20 for your temperatures. And yeah, you can see the road temperatures are very cold here. So salt only works down to about 21, 22 degrees. So with road temperatures dropping down into the teens here, we're going to definitely have to deal with some black ice issues, as we, especially as we make your way toward your Monday morning. So let's keep that in mind here. Make sure you allow a little extra time as you're making your way to and from the places you got to check out here as we head toward uh, the next couple of days. So you can see through with our rainfall here, as we get through uh, towards Sunday into Monday, another quarter of an inch of rain or so, maybe some isolated totals of around a half inch, but really it's the snowfall we're looking at. An increased amount here, I will add, a good one to two inches here across most of the region, a little less here across eastern Kentucky, more for areas uh, in southern Ohio as well as along uh, US 19 there in the West Virginia mountains where we could see two to three inches of snow. But the real threat here, I think, the biggest threat is going to be the black ice tomorrow through the afternoon and evening, then overnight Sunday night into Monday, the cold temperatures. Look at this, six degrees as you're waking up Monday morning across much of the region. Four in Ripley and Spencer could be below zero across southern Ohio. You combine the wind, which is going to be brisk. We're talking about a northwest breeze as high as 15 miles per hour, and we're talking about wind chill values anywhere from 10 to 20, even 30 below zero in places here. And you look at the West Virginia mountains. Look at this, 40 below in Snowshoe, 42 below in Davis. So some dangerous cold. That's frostbite we're talking about 
in as little as five minutes here across the region. So dangerous cold. Make sure you keep an eye on the pets and the elderly as well. Also, don't forget we got the lunar eclipse going on. Bundle up if you plan on checking this out. 1140. We should be seeing partly cloudy skies here across the area. So that's certainly some good news. Temperatures going to be chilly for a couple of days. Only 19 on Monday, but we warm up quickly by the middle of the week. 55 on Wednesday. And then check this out. By the end of the week, we're cold once again with Friday night into Saturday back in the single digits. We've got a whole lot more coming up after the break.